Welcome to Let's Build Something. Today, we're gonna build a failure. Welcome everybody to Build Week. What is Build Week, you might be asking? Well, two content creators I respect very much. Um, first is Adam Savage. You might know him from Mythbusters, but he also has a YouTube channel called Tested. And on this YouTube channel, he makes what he calls one day builds, where he builds something in one day. They usually don't happen in one day, but you get the point. Another content creator I respect very much, his name is Alex Steele. He's a uh, blacksmith, um, uh, bladesmith. Jesus H, can you see that? A whole bunch of spider web just flung around me. And he has a wonderful YouTube channel. Um, and one of the ways he grew his YouTube there's more spider webs. What the hell? One of the ways he grew his YouTube channel was by uploading every day, which is pretty crazy. Um, but combining those two ideas every day this week, you and I are going to build something new. Today, we're going to build a Harry Potter wand. Tomorrow, um, we're going to build a new workbench out of my old workbench, and we'll keep going from there. I have them all planned. I want to do them all in one day. Um, I don't know if they're all possible in one day, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Today we're making a Harry Potter wand. Um, it's going to be made out of leather and walnut. This is a dowel uh, that I made a couple weeks ago. Um, and this is what we're going to start with. So we're going to spindle turn this. What spindle turning is, is taking a piece of wood and putting it between these two points. Um, this is a live center. This stays in place and that turns. So that goes into my life center there. This has little teeth on it, and this goes into the chuck, or not the chuck, but it goes where the chuck would go if I was using a chuck. Um, and this spins, spins our piece of wood, and this keeps it centered. So let's get this chucked up, and we can start turning it down. So this is our live center here. Um, this whole thing can move to adjust. Like that, okay? And there's a locking vise right there. It's just a nut underneath that clamps onto this. And then this moves like so. So when I turn this, this moves out. And this, well, I've already set it in place, but this is the life. I already have the center marked. We put it in our spindle turn. And, ooh, we're a little close. So what I'm going to do is get it close with this, like so, lock that in place, okay, make sure that's loose, and then I'm just going to tighten it down just a little bit, like so. Then make sure that's tight. By turning that live center this way, we've then put enough pressure on this to where the whole thing moves. And it turns on. So that's spindle turning. All right, well, I explained it this far, so I might as well go into a little bit more detail. Uh, when we turn this on, as you can see with this arrow, it's gonna spin this way, okay? So this is a tool rest, um, and we're gonna rest our tool here. The tool is the chisel, okay? Looks like this. And we rest it here and press it up against our workpiece. As this turns, the chisel takes away a little bit at a time. So, the plan is to have a handle and then a shaft. A handle is going to be really, really thin on the wood because it's going to be uh, wrapped in leather. And a technique that I've seen with knife makers. So I know it's used for handles. So, I want to start for the handle. I want to go like, I'm going to give myself uh, half an inch there, and then let's get this out of the way. Should be able to hold it. Okay. And that'll give us enough room to hold it. Okay. So that's going to be our handle. And then, I don't know, how long do these things get? Right about there. We'll say that's our 
full length. Okay, so I'm going to turn this on and use my pencil just to mark where I already marked. Now I have nice dark marks. Yeah. So we're gonna go really thin here and then just a really smooth, even taper to a rounded tip down here. Let's get started. I think I'm ready to cut this off. So I'm gonna cut right here. Um, I'm gonna keep this for later, and I'm gonna keep uh, the block on the other end as well. We're gonna cut this and then start working on the leather. There we go. And I like a flip. So, what I'm doing now is taking our leather. Uh, I cut a bunch of strips, and then I'm poking, or I am punching, a hole in it, right in the center, like so. And then fitting it onto the handle. So this handle will be a bunch of leather flaps glued together and compressed down um, and it actually comes out looking really nice so you'll see that in a bit I need to punch a lot of holes
All right, I know my shop's a mess. I'm in the middle of moving. Shut up. Anyway, uh, I cut the end off. I cut the other end off, and using my bandsaw, I went through and shaved off the excess. So now, this isn't gonna go back in the lathe. Um, I'm too scared to do that because I'll just mess it up now. So now what we're gonna do is take sandpaper and start aggressively sanding the uh, leather, and then once the leather's done, we'll move on to the shaft. So, let's start that. So, remember when I said that it wouldn't go back in the lathe? I lied. So, uh, I just have a lot of sanding in order to get this to both round, because I can't use my chisels, um, and also to a form factor that I like. Um, but we are getting there. So, uh, I broke it, um, got impatient, went to try to use my uh, chisels, and immediately broke it. And then after I broke it, I broke it again. So kind of upset, kind of annoyed, but I think there's some good stuff in this video, so I'm still going to put it out. tomorrow. We're going to make a cooler one, because last night, after I broke this, I had a better idea for one. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this. Uh, mistakes are being an idiot. Anyway, like I said, tomorrow, we're going to build a cooler one. This leather idea, not something uh, I should do with wood. I think um, knife makers use it with metal, and that's how it should stay. So yeah, the next one is going to be way cooler. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow.